She's running again. <laughs> Marcus Conti reporting. Hillary Clinton is running for president for a third time in a row. Damn. Unbelievable. The most corrupt politician in America, Hillary Clinton, is running for president. So CNN is reporting. Jeff Zeleny. I wanted to wait a little bit before I talked about it because to see if Hillary Clinton's camp, this is not coming directly from Hillary Clinton. It's coming through CNN, who said Hillary Clinton said it. CNN released it on Sunday, and it hasn't been uh, refuted. So <clears throat> it's official. Hillary Clinton, shit sandwich number one, running for president, pal. Clinton is telling people that she has not closed the door to the idea of running in 2020, CNN's Jeff Zeleny said Sunday on Inside Politics. I'm told by three people that as recently as this week, she was telling people that, look, given all this news from the indictments, particularly Roger Stone indictment, she talked to several people saying, look, I'm not closing the door on this. Roger Stone, right? Russia, Russia smear. The Russia smear job, that's what she's going to lean on. Like, she thinks she's going to get any traction there. It's psycho. Right? <sighs> While she's mewling her political future, it doesn't yet mean that she's ready for a rematch against President Trump. It does not mean that she's, uh, she's a campaign in waiting or a plan in the works, Zeleny said. Well, yes, it does. <laughs> He said, as Clinton friend told him, it would surprise me greatly if she acted, if she actually did it. She's doing it. She already did it. That's the way they do it. They leak a little information, say, yeah, 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 maybe we'll run. And they're testing the waters. You got Camilla Harris out there now. Uh, you know, I'll talk about her too, Camilla Harris. The, uh, the other shit sandwich drew 20,000 people in San Francisco or, or Oakland, wherever. This is, again, uh, Clinton. <clears throat> this is Zeleny from CNN. But I think we have to at least leave our mind open to the possibility that she is still talking about it. She wants to take on Trump, Zeleny said. She c could she win a Democratic primary? I don't know. <laughs> Clinton won the popular vote against Trump in 2016, but lost the Electoral College to him, giving him to win. That's not true. That's three, three million votes inflated in California alone. Let's look at the Hillary Clinton. Let's look at the, the most corrupt politician in America. Although we did not find clear evidence that Secretary Clinton or her colleagues intended to violate laws, you remember? there is evidence oh. that they were extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information. Everything I did was permitted by law and regulation. I had one device. Secretary Clinton used several different servers. And she also used numerous mobile devices to send and to read email on that personal domain. I used uh, a single uh, account for convenience. Obviously, uh, these years later, uh, it doesn't look so convenient. Liar. My use of personal email was allowed by the State Department. None of these emails should have been on any kind of unclassified system. And I never sent nor received any information that was classified at the time it was sent and received. I never sent um, classified uh, material on my email and I never received any uh, that was marked classified. 110 emails in 52 email chains have been determined by the owning agency to contain classified information at the time they were sent or received. What, like with a cloth or something? Well, no. The email software was removed. That didn't remove the email content. The effect was that millions of email fragments ended up in the server's unused or slack space. I didn't have to turn over anything. I chose to turn over 55,000 pages of my emails. This helped us recover work-related emails that were not among the 30,000 that were produced to state. I'm sorry, I've taken responsibility. Although there is evidence of potential violations of the statutes regarding the handling of classified information, our judgment is that no reasonable prosecutor would bring such a case. That's the short list. 
that's the short list of Hillary Clinton's crimes. That doesn't include the Clinton Foundation laundering uh, billions of dollars over the years. It doesn't it doesn't account for the the Clinton body bag, the murders. All right, now she's going to go against she's going to go against Donald Trump, right? But who's the other shit sandwich running? Let's talk about this one for one second. Camilla Harris uh, kicked off her 2020 Democratic presidential campaign Sunday by proclaiming a progressive and populist agenda that includes Medicare for all, economic equality, and a tax cut for working class, working middle class. Right? I just wanted to throw that that in there because what what this is going to do, and if you think that Hillary Clinton is not going to enter the race. And that she won't, that she has any regard whatsoever to the other shit sandwiches in the race. You're crazy because she will do it. She thinks in her mind, in her, you know, insane world that she lives in her in her mind. She thinks that she can win, right? And she doesn't. These people don't care about the country or anything, right? And also, the what's going to happen too is that as the Bernie Sanders wave picks up. Bernie Sanders, uh, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, Elizabeth Warren, shit sandwich, Joe Biden and, and Camilla Harris, I say will fade, uh, will fade as we lead into the, uh, the primaries. And then what will happen is all the progressives will get stabbed in the back again by Sanders, Tulsi Gabbard and, and uh, uh, Elizabeth Warren. They'll fail there because the Democrats will cheat them again, will cheat them again have no intention whatsoever of supporting a progressive candidate. None of these policies that they talk about, right, no legislation whatsoever has ever been, is, is on the table with any of these people, Medicare for all. It'll never get passed. Right? It won't get passed. You have to get rid of Senate and Congress. Bottom line is change happens from the bottom up. Depending on these people for change is is virtually ridiculous. So 2020, we could say we can we can inaugurate, we should just inaugurate Donald Trump right now if this is the strategy. Hillary Clinton is running for president in 2020. Marcus Conti reporting.